What's up, everybody? Hope all is well. Listen, let me take this opportunity just to say thank you all for being here for this Bible War devotional, whichever one it is. I did promise you guys a devotional every day this week, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, whether it's at nighttime, whether it's in the morning, I want to be able to give you guys a devotional. Mari, why are you dressed like that? You know, sometimes you just got to go into combat. That's all. You know, just combat the enemy, combat what's going on, and just pray. Now, I said that I was going to do this thing about Trump. And I want to make something very plain. I don't agree with foolishness, but I'm going to come from a spiritual aspect. If something is not right that you don't like, what should you do as the people of God? Pray. Now, the Bible also says faith without works is dead. So we also we should also show up. Even though you may not like leadership that's in power or whatever the case may be, what happened? What happened to your, your spirit, man? What happened to your Holy Ghost? You should have enough power over the enemy, right? Am I right? Am I wrong now? You should have enough power over the enemy or what you, who you call the enemy. Now, let's go here. In 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, we may jump forward or backwards. 7 and 14, it says, if my people, which are called by my name. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. It also says, now mine eyes shall be opened and mine ears shall attend unto their prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. And as for thee, if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked and do accordingly to all that I have commanded, I shall observe my statutes and, uh, and, I'm sorry, all that I commanded thee and shall observe my statutes and my judgments. Then will I establish the throne of the of thy kingdom according as I have covenanted with David thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man to be a ruler in Israel. But if ye turn away and forsake my statutes and my commands, which I have set before thee, I shall go, I'm sorry, and you shall go and serve other gods and worship them, then I will pluck them up by the root, by the roots, out of my land which I have given thee. And this house, which I have sanctified for my name, I will cast out of my sight and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. Not only is other nations trying to make you a byword and an afterthought, but God said, if you forsake to reverence me, I'll forsake you. I'll forsake you. Hmm. I'll forsake you. I'll forsake you. While we're so busy fighting a president that is in office, God said, seek my face and I'll handle everything. What well, instead of inciting hate, whether it's white nationalist or Black Lives Matter, or whoever it may be, instead of inciting hate, why don't we get on our face and pray? Why don't we get on our face and seek the face of God? Because everybody that's put in office is being handled by somebody else. It's being puppeted by somebody else. So why don't we pray that the powers that be, that God would overtake and that the Lord will have his way in the White House. That God will have his way in the government systems. Why don't we do that? Oh, we're too busy.
We're too busy. And what we've done is we've done number 19. He said, but if you turn away and forsake my statutes and my judgments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them, I will pluck you up by the roots out of my land. If you forsake to worship me, if you forsake to reverence me, you forsake to even call me by my name. Oh, I got it. Y'all too busy. Y'all, 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 we, 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 we wear the reverence Jesus and not the father of Jesus or the God that sent Jesus. We rather not worship Yahweh, but we rather worship Jesus. Jesus said, I come to do the meat of him who has sent me. Do what I do. And what I do is give him the glory. Do what I do. And what I do is give him the glory. All the glory and all the praise don't come to me, but it goes to God. It goes to Yahweh. You go to the Hebrew word, it's Yahuwah. Goes to him. We don't do those things. Nor are we taught those things. We stay stuck on surface. And we call ourselves going deep when we want to cast out a demon. When we want to cast out a dark angel. If my people will just humble themselves all he asks. Humble yourself. Is it that difficult to humble yourself? Seek the face of God. Turn from your wicked way. Is it that, is it that difficult? Pray for our president. Pray that the hand of God will bind up chaos and confusion. Y'all are acting real dumb. But we live in this country and we need the Lord like never before. Whoever is in the White House, whoever's in the White House, we need God. We need the spirit of God like never before. You're getting caught up on the small things when there are major issues out here. We got rumors of wars. and We have pestilence that are coming from everywhere. Oh, you think America's protected? No, baby. We're being infiltrated even as we speak. He said, if you seek my face and turn from your foolishness, he said, I'll heal the land. Yes, he did. He said, I will heal the land. Simple as I'll heal it. I'll deliver it. I'll make it right. I'll make you whole. I'll turn things around. I know it looks bad right now, but I'll fix it. But you don't reverence me. You don't love me. He said this. He said it in 20. He said it in 19 and 20 of 2nd Chronicles 7. If you forsake to reverence me, because you only come to me when you want something. If you forsake to reverence me, I will take you out of my land. I'll put somebody else there who wants me. I'll put somebody there else there that's willing to worship and to give me glory and to give me praise. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Anyways, y'all, we gotta change things. Spiritual people, we gotta change some stuff. So anyways, y'all, anyways, you all, thank you so much for being on today's uh, devotional and Bible or whatever.
And um, thank you guys for your love and your support. Please make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And you know what? Make sure you support by subscribing to the Patreon. Make sure you support by subscribing to the Patreon. Do that for me. Subscribe to the Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon. That, that helps further what we do. That helps further being able to bring things like this to you every day. Because we need encouragement. We need to encourage the hearts and minds of the people. And keep everybody lifted up in prayer. That's what we need to do. Seek the face of God. That That's, that's, that's the goal. That's the mission. And I'm going to say it again. You may not like it. You may not like it. Pray for the president. Pray for the president. You may not like what he's doing. You may not like what is going on in the land. But if you are God's people, take that power that he's already invested in you and stir up the gift and get on your face and cry out for a revival to come to this country and that God would save his people. Seek God's face, people. Seek God's face. Seek the Lord Yah's face. He said it right here. If you would seek my face. Now, see, we seek in his hands. We seek in his hands, but we forgot about his face. See, his face is where he has his eyes. His face is where he has his ears. His face is where he has his mouth. See, he sees all, he knows all, he hears all. And therefore he gives the final say, the final judgment, and he is the life speaker, the life giver. It's just that simple. I love you all, and like I said again, you may not like it, but pray for Trump. Pray for him. That sounds real stupid, but what is it gonna hurt for you to pray for who you call your enemy? Pray for them. Anyways, I love you guys. Make sure you all support the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash King Jives, King Jives exclusives. Make sure I go over there and support and um, it's going to be good. Love you guys. I appreciate you all. And again, like I said, pray for our president, pray for our country. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye. It's my prayer that whatever it is that you are trying to get off the ground, God will give you the funding for. I really thought you would shout better than that. The only people who are shouting right now are those who got a big idea but don't have a big budget. But in spite of not having big budget, here's your shout, you got big faith. You have to dream the size of your faith and not think about the number of your limitations. <laughs>